Hi everyone, welcome to the Storylist channel and welcome to Becoming the Ultimate Storygazer series. In today's video, we're gonna talk about what the Storylist Theater is. As a small recap, storygazing is an immersive experience where we put you inside the world of a book. And the theater is where we storygaze. Yep, that's where we storygaze, that's where the magic happens. And if you go to the Storylist Theater, the first thing you'll see is a collection of books. What are those books? Well, those are books that we read ourselves and selected among a large number of books because they're amazing stories, they have great writing, very imaginative, strong world building, and just overall provide a fantastic experience for story gazing. Our collection is currently quite small and that's because we're getting started. But as we grow, hopefully this collection will expand with many more amazing stories like this. So now that we're here, what's the first step? So the first step is to choose a book. So as a reminder, the Storygazing membership does not include the book, you have to get your book somewhere else, but once you have it, you are ready to start your Storygazing journey. So you click there, and first you will see the header with the number of illustrations and animations, the number of tracks, uh, scenarios, and the total comments that are in each book. And below that, you will see the storygazing journey, which are these envelopes. So the idea is that you will open them when you reach a certain page, and then you will get all that's inside. So each envelope has either an illustration or an animation, and some of them might have, well, most of them might have um, music or tracks and interactive scenarios. Why don't we go ahead and open one of them? If you're not a storygazer yet, or if you're browsing the website as a signed out user, when you reach the theater, that's the first thing you're gonna see, the envelope with the demo. So if we go ahead and open it, you can see this amazing illustration by Retrooper, and there is some amazing music playing in the background, and also you can see that at the bottom of the illustration we have a relic scenario. So this whole experience, we designed it mobile first in mind, and the reason is that we picture um, story gazers like you and us reading their books in their personal cozy nook and then maybe you reach a checkpoint you have your phone by your side and you can open the envelope of that checkpoint and get all the goodies in that moment be transported immersed even more into the story and so on so basically you can uh, use the theater in desktop in tablet in mobile whichever you prefer it works great in all of them Going back to the relic scenario, it is a small scene uh, where you are inside the world of the book and you follow the story on, up to a point where you have to make a decision. And in this point, you will choose a relic. So relics are items that are found inside the book and they're like memorabilia from the world. And once you've selected your relic, you can head to your story gazing house and there you will see all the items that you've collected throughout the stories and you will also see some lore written by the author. Yep, that's for the relic scenario. And if we scroll down, you will see the reaction section. And here is, you can leave a quick reaction about how the illustration, the music, and just everything, how they, how they made you feel. And then if we scroll further down, you're gonna see the post book conversation section. And in this section, it's actually really fun because it's one we recommend accessing after you finish the book. It, called like that because we thought about it kind of like a book club when you finish reading the book and then you can go and share your thoughts and feelings in this case about each scene that we have illustrated about what happened around that scene share what you thought uh, about what happened in the book just like if you were in a book club and so that's a lot of fun we left some comments for you there uh, the authors might have left some comments for you there even the artists so that's very fun and it's a great way to just keep the party going even after you finish the book. Now if we head outside, back to the theater, you're gonna see three links at the bottom. I'm gonna touch briefly on what each of those is. The first one is the Story Gazer House, which we already mentioned, the place where you can see all your relics. The second one is our Discord server. Uh, that's your personal invitation to access the Story Gazer Discord, where you can keep hanging out with the community. And the third link is the Story Gazer's Guide to the Theater, which we mentioned in a previous video. I'm gonna leave a link in the description box below. And it contains a lot of the stuff that we talked about here and some more. And if you're an author watching the video and you scroll further down, you're gonna see a link with more information about how you can partner with us if you're interested. And that's pretty much it for this first episode. So in the next videos, we are gonna dive deeper into some of the topics that we covered today. So stay tuned. 
yeah it was nice talking to you please like and subscribe and we'll hopefully see you in the next one have a beautiful day bye